paper, the team with 13 wins. So how disappointing is it to have an effort like that at home at this stage of the season? Yeah, it's really disappointing. I mean, just calling it like it is. But what I would say to that, you know, is, and this is just my mindset, and, and I've got a lot of respect for our guys, and our guys compete, and they've, they've been professional all year long. And I did think that they gave an effort to get back in the game, really gave an effort to get back in the game, and it wasn't good enough in terms of being able to get back over the hump. Um, the... You know, the, the part to me is, the, the the disappointing part is, like, we, you see this happen all the time in the NBA. There's guys go out and teams come back and win games, and it just speaks to none of us are as good as we think we are, okay, because you have to show up and compete and perform because when you're playing against guys that are desperate to keep a job, to make earn a living, to, that, that, that doesn't make a difference how you view talent or anything else, you still have to line up and compete. And like I said, I think our guys competed. Um, I think we had breakdowns. I thought our guys put forth the effort, to, but we don't have that room of error to be able to do that and not have the game come down to hoping they miss some free throws, hoping we grab an extra rebound. Maybe we get fouled. Maybe we get a three-point play. Maybe DeMar's shot at half court goes in and we win and, you know, we escape. Like, there's just, when you're living like that, that's a hard way to live to expect to be good. Who's score in the first half? You only took five shots all game. What would what, you yeah, see I mean, there? I think we did a better job to start the third quarter to find him. That, you know, to be honest with you, that was one of the things that I was disappointed with. And, 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 we got into situations where, you know, the ball is, is being thrown back out and, and we got some guys, you know, and, and particularly younger guys that are just catching the ball, like trying to put the ball down and they're not reading the defense. And the defense, we missed him way too much tonight, especially in the first half. The second half, I thought we did a much better job. Now, when he did get it, Vooch is a very unselfish player. So he, a lot of times when he did get it in that pocket and near the lane line, if he didn't like what he had, he sprayed it out and generated shots for other guys. So that's going to happen. But we missed him too many times. And we like what happened in that third quarter for him, that needed to happen earlier in the game. We missed him way too much and actually talked about that at halftime. What was the progression like with Alex? You obviously didn't start him. It looked, my read is to control his minutes, but then you started him in the second half. So what, what was the progression? No, I think, you know, what's happened, Alex is great to talk with and communicate with. And, you know, like one of the things that's really hard is, 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 we all know how hard he plays and competes, but it's hard when he's really, because I, I think there's certain things he wants to physically go through and get treatment during the day. And like I've told him this before, and he's been great with it. It's, I don't like necessarily telling another guy with 40 minutes on the clock, hey, now you're starting. I like going into shoot around prep, but here's who we're starting. And, you know, in my conversation with Alex, I just said, listen, when you're in these situations where it's going to be game time, I think for our team, this is better. And he's been great with it. He says, like, I totally get it, totally understand. And I give Tori a lot of credit because he came in at halftime and grabbed me and was like, hey, listen, let's, you know, since AC is playing, let's, you know, start him and go back to our normal lineup. So these guys have been unbelievable to work with and deal with in that kind of stuff. And I give AC a lot of credit that he worked as hard as he did to get himself back on the floor. But... Sometimes it's hard, you know, if you were going to start a younger player. Tori's obviously a veteran.